Hey, everybody. Hey, Keith, and hey, Michael. How's it going? Happy Friday, everybody. We did it. Um, this week was a big week with the release of the Lonesome Hunters Wolf Child came out. Very excited. It's fun to see people posting about getting their books. This, um, I don't know if I said enough about it, but it has a special four page story in the back. That is fun. I don't often get the chance to do black and white, so I was um, very adamant when I did that. I was like, I'm going to do it black and white. Oh, thanks, Michael. <laughs> Volume 1 is a little bit rough to uh, find nowadays. I hear, though, that there are... Um, there's a new batch of Volume Ones on the boat right now, coming coming to the states. So uh, it should be here. Uh, I think they'll be the new ones will be available in stores um, March end of March. I think the 29th. Could be wrong though. Um, yeah. So if you don't find it uh, right away, um, you should be able to find it or have your comic shop order it for you. Um, by the end of the month. Um, the other thing I had come out was I did a variant cover for uh, Christopher Chaos um, that came out. Um, and it's fun. I didn't know they were going to do the logo-less cover. And also, this is a new thing for Dark Horse. I don't know when they started doing... Um, it's like super glossy covers, and it's like a, a thicker stock on the cover. Um, but it's nice. I like it. I hope that's something that they do going forward. Because most of their books um, have sort of traditionally been uh, what they call self-cover, which means that the cover paper is the exact same paper as the inside paper, which is pretty standard comic book stuff. But um, this is nice. It feels uh, a lot more premium. Cool, so tonight um, I'm going to get started on a new commission. I'm doing a commission that's uh, Batman and uh, uh, Scarecrow. So that's the, uh, that's it. Probably not too long of a show tonight. I think I'm just going to do uh, um, sketches tonight. Oh, man, Keith, I am so sorry. I told you I was going to email you last week or last um, Friday, and I totally didn't. Let me put it in my little book. Hold on. Got it in in with the little in my little kitten book. Things are a lot more likely to get done when I do that. Yeah, yeah, no, you you did you didn't miss it, Keith. I'm just uh, I'm just a walking mess lately. So man, there are so many um, scarecrows. Like, so many different versions of the Scarecrow. I think I might do this kind of traditional one. Where he's like a bag head. But this guy right here is pretty tempting. He's got a cool silhouette. Like, I like the way his hat comes down all the way over to his shoulders. I think that's nice looking. 
And he's scary with his little hypodermic fingers. Yeah, so I think that actually the the mask kind of looks the same. I guess he has goggles here and he doesn't in the more traditional scarecrow. So this is like what he looks like now, I guess. Long black hair. It's kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> so it's Scarecrow and Batman. Typically for these, it's like, if we do Batman, kind of doing his like detecting and then have uh, Scarecrow coming after him from behind like that's kind of cool but this is, it's a little bit generic. I feel like I've done this like a million times. Kind of want to, like, uh, well, you know, that's kind of cool. Like, I could do like a, to focus on this glove, I could do like a... Like Scarecrow hard in the foreground. And then Batman kind of smallish. But that's like, I don't know. This is kind of, I kind of like this little Batman I just made down here, though. Like, maybe... Batman is, like, on a rooftop. Looking for Scarecrow. Scarecrow's down here, like, ducked in the shadows. That's kind of cool. Oh, dang it. Try it without the hat. If we go, like this is kind of this is kind of potentially cool. So we got our scarecrow. We get to see his like he's got his arm up. We get to see his cool fingers. And then maybe Batman is like, 
coming this way. He doesn't see him yet, but he's about to. Like that. Uh, you know, Keith, they don't um, ask spe specify horizontal or vertical. Um, the commissions usually just come to me as uh, like most of the time they're at, they ask for like a cover quality. Um, thing and then um, yeah and then they tell me the subject and I try like I don't um, I don't let I don't take commissions that are too um, specific like if they want to art direct me then that's like a, a different that's a different situation hey Alex oh and hey Math Raptor it's good to see you Framed by the menacing arm. Put my son on the creepy scarecrow face. Yeah, but that's the thing, like, when someone commissions you to draw the characters, it's like, like, this would be good for, like, a, a comic book cover, because it would be sort of like, oh, who is Batman facing off against this month? But when you, when they commission a specific character, I feel like they want to see that character. But I do, I do like... You like this idea. Um, what version of Batman will we be seeing? That's a good question. I don't know yet. I think... I think maybe my own version. <laughs> like, I'm kind of imagining a... Kind of a cross between, like, year one and, um... And, um, 
like a like a Bernie Wrightson thing, sort of short ears but a long cape. <laughs> Camp short ears. Do I have a favorite interpolation interpretation of Batman? I don't know if I really do. Like, um, year one is sort of like my Batman. Like that's the Batman that um, that I fell in love with when I was a kid. I do like. Um, Um, like I liked um, Paul Pope's Batman a lot. He was a little bit more like a guy in um, uh, like in wool underwear and boots. Like that's kind of a cool look. But that's kind of a year one look too, you know? I feel like there should be something here, like a some stuff to help obscure the scarecrow.
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Michael, those boxer trunks are amazing. Yeah, Alex, those, um, like that old school, like the original Batman design where those ears poked out. So I'm imagining like this whole lower half is going to be real green and then probably like a brown sky or or like an orangey sky. Actually, let's do it. That's a little better. Then we'll do a little bit of mirroring the orange in the goggles. So I think the idea here would be to let um, Batman's silhouette do a lot of the talking, but then um, with the Scarecrow do a lot of sort of subtle shading on him when he's down here in these green shadows.
I feel like the more silhouetted, the more menacing Batman is. Yeah, I feel like he's um, he's one of those characters that's a little bit goofy looking, so the more you sort of let him be in shadow, the cooler he is. And I'm definitely not into like um, tactical Batman. Like I don't think his costume should be like overly um, detailed and stuff. Although what's missing is like, I do really like how when he has a yellow, um, his little yellow logo on his chest. I always feel like that should pop out just a touch. ink somewhere. I know my hands are all covered in ink. This is probably like a little bit more than I would normally do for a commission, but um, I'm having fun with it tonight. And this is actually like um, good to do, to do a color, little color comp like this. And probably what I'll do too before I start penciling is to um, snap some photos of these poses with myself or, um, or lots of times I wrote Ma into posing for me. So I think like Scarecrow will be like probably the only place where real black appears. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit up in Batman. But if you let his darks be kind of blown out He'll look a little bit further away. That atmospheric perspective. And there probably needs to be a little more separation between him and this 
chimney or whatever. Hey Chuck, yeah, I liked um, I like that idea too. Although it doesn't explain like the second lightest place on his costume, which is his face. <laughs> oh man, Keith, I tell you what the um, the photo reference part of. Uh, of this job is like the most mortifying version. I don't know if I could do it live on stream. <laughs> Bulletproof contact lenses. He's got the tech, man. You know what? I got this a long time ago and have like, I don't know if I've ever actually I must have used it at least once when I got it. Hmm. Can I shake this stuff? It looks a little too thick. can shake it. I feel like um, Scarecrow's hat needs some thought about how that's going to fit on there. I think photo reference actually would probably fix, like, help me figure that out right away. I don't know if I've ever tried the um, Holbein Super Opaque. Really, most of the um, most of the whiting out I do, I do with the uh, white FW. But when I'm doing watercolor stuff, there's not a lot of um, whiting out to do. So actually, I guess the other thing I use a lot is. Um, Acrylic gouache white is really good, and it's pretty easy. It inks over pretty good, which is nice. But you can see it's seventeen dollars and twenty-five cents for one for the big guy. I don't have a price on the little guy.
Well, I think that's it. I think I'm good to go. I think I know what I'm going to do with this cover now, or with this commission. This is, uh, yeah, that's it. We're done. <laughs> I've been doing hour and a half long streams for a while, and I was like, maybe tonight will be kind of a short one so I can um, just go relax. But um turned out really short. Thank you, Rudak. Yeah, everybody, don't forget to like the stream. It certainly helps people find the... Um, find the videos and watch them. Will this be another weekly commission light? Um, it might be, Keith. Um, probably not, though. I really... Um, I have a couple commissions on my list that I really need to just sort of, like, get done and get them off the plate so I can um, stop worrying about them. Um, but we'll see. I mean, they might, um, if I get it done this weekend, then I'll definitely show you guys next week. And if I um, am st still working on it, that'll probably be what I do next week. Smash that like and subscribe button. It's your boy, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to watch it again, my aunt. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks so much for uh, joining me on this Friday. I hope uh, everybody has a great weekend, and I hope next week is fantastic for everybody. And uh, don't forget to tell the people you love how much you love them. And I love all you guys. Have a good one. Bye.